yo, yo, DJ, hit me! I was just six, playing with sticks, yeah. I ran it up, now I'm lit, yeah. Now this young nigga get rich, yeah. I used to take shit like the Grinch, yeah. Hey, shit don't matter. What's up, JB? We back, back with a new, new video. Stop playing. All right, man, we in the Linux right now. Um, as y'all can see, I still got my jacket on and stuff because today is the same day as the other video, the intro to Atlanta video. Um, I am here. I am in the Linux Mall. Y'all don't know what the Linux Mall is. The Linux Mall is the world renowned mall in South Atlanta. I think that's what this is. Or, or the, the, the part, whatever part of Atlanta that everybody stays and everybody be at. This is where the Linux Mall is. Um, I'm just in here chilling, man. You know, regular fit. Slides on, chilling. I'm coming back to shop. I'm not sure I'm shopping my anything today. But I'm definitely coming back. I'm um, really just scoping, man. Study scoping. Pipe a nigga's nose. I say slack. Nah, I'm just talking shit, man. But I'm scoping, man. I'm looking. I got a nice uh, Apple store in here, man. Apple Store in Linux. That wasn't there last time I came. I came here a while back. So y'all know it's a while back because it was way before the YouTube thing. So I came in here way before the YouTube um, with my family. I actually stayed in the mall. So if y'all be like, man, Josh going a lot of trips. Josh going a lot of places. I've been doing this since I was young. You know what I mean? Like way, way before I was even, you know, Josh be too lit. Um, but yeah, man, I'm just in here. We chilling. We walking around. I gotta get into some stores. Like, I gotta get into some stores, man, so I can get me some. I gotta take me some nice home. Uh, I'm not sure what yet. This mile is, this mile is huge, man. It's stuff everywhere, every corner, every turn, every twist. It's something different. Um. But really, honestly, oh, them, them hard, man. Them hard, man. I don't even know what them called, but them hard. Can't even see that nigga no more. Y'all see that nigga in my camera, bro? What, let me tell y'all something about Atlanta real quick. It ain't shit, but flame and fake. Bro. I love Atlanta, bro. And I, I, I consider, I, I'm, I'm, I'm largely, greatly considering moving here when my YouTube really just take off for real and I start getting paid a little more. I'm considering moving here or Houston or Cali. But one thing I cannot deal with is like, and, and, and no offense to anybody that's gay, no offense to anybody that's gay or, you know, you know, transsexual, anything like that. But, bro, I can't, I can't be around no shit like that. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm the type of guy where this shit, I feel like this shit contagious. You know, I don't, I don't, man. I just feel like that type of thing is contagious, man. I'm pretty sure it's not. I think it's just some a, 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 a sexist male thing or some, some very masculine shit. But that shit is, that shit seems just so contagious, man. That shit just nasty to me. And I really, I just, I can't deal with it, man. I can't deal with it. Oh, they walking in this stuff. I don't know what the fuck stuff this is, man. I can't walk in there like some girl shit. But yeah, man, like I said, man, one thing about Atlanta, man, there's a lot of gay people and a lot of weird ass shit here, man. And, it, and I cannot get jiggled with this shit. But it's definitely something you can get used to and just look over, you know. Cause a mature thing do with you, look over when I'm 18, man. You can't, you can't tell no 18 year old to just to look over some shit that, you know, you know what I mean? You can't tell me to look over that shit cause I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna wanna look over that shit. That shit don't, that ain't no shit I'm into. But when I get into a few more stores or walk around a little bit more and talk to you guys, I'm gonna be right back. Let's go. I'm gonna be all the way 100 with y'all, fuck man. Atlanta one of the nastiest places I've never been. And what I mean by that is the motherfucking people. And I was just talking about how gay people is and all that type of shit, like how I'm not with that shit. But me and my brother, we was at the stall, right? 
bro. Listen, we was we was um. Nigga ain't washing his hand, man. Yeah, we had to start using the bathroom, but we had to stall. And I think I was, I had just told my brother I was like, man, I need to wash my hands, and I was saying that because it's called something when you don't wash your hands and. That shit, that shit get bad, but long story short, I said this shit out loud. I'm talking about as loud as possible. As loud as possible, I said this shit. I said, I need to wash my hands because this shit nasty. When I tell y'all people, the dude, the dude legit walked right out of that hole. I'm talking about. He really just got up and walked out of here. You feel what I'm saying? But man, I tell y'all about work real quick. So, as y'all all know, I make I make t-shirts for a living. But not for a living, but just to have a little money. I really don't really care about making t-shirts. Um, YouTube, I'm trying to make that my primary. I don't really too much give a damn about making t-shirts, man. That's why I don't like, I don't like, I don't know. If it's not no quick job or something that I can get right into, I don't do it. Let me tell y'all a little quick thing about work. And I'm, a, I'm in Atlanta talking about work. So I have a lady, she she wanted some shirts. The shirts weren't even that high. That was about $20. I don't, I don't really too much charge that much for shirts. Cause I mean, it's an easy thing to do, but I know people be wanting their stuff right, you know? And that's understandable. But customers got to understand that, okay, you are paying your money and all this type of thing, but you want a custom job. I mean, you want some custom, so you, you want, first off, you want my time. And when my time is taken away or something like that, you know, you feel me? But, man, money ain't too much shit to me. Um, $20 ain't shit to me. The lady, I don't really remember what the lady was saying. I told the lady, I was like, you bring the shirt. She was like, the shirt ain't a V-neck, a small shit, and I think she's not gonna want it. And which is fine, I mean, I don't really give a damn. I make enough money or I make other shit to, you know, cover a lot of shit, I don't really care. Um, she was like, I was like, if you bring me a shirt, I put the um, print on there for free, you know, that because that's really what cost. What people don't understand is when I make t-shirts, I have overhead. I have shit that I got to pay for, and people want the cheapest, best quality, which is hard to find. That shit ain't really, that shit really ain't too easy to find. I'm in favor of 21 right now, just ran real quick. But I am just going to get a lady a refund, man. I'm going to tell her she can keep the shirt. I'm going to tell her ass, um... Motherfucking Merry Christmas, keep that bitch. That's stress, man. That was that, that just stress, you know what I'm saying? And I'm on vacation and shit. I'm trying, I'm trying to vacate, you feel me? I tried to vacate my machines and vacate the press, the 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 the, the press that I use to do shit. I tried to vacate all this shit so I can have fun, man, but I can't have fun because Work is goddamn infringing on my fun. It's not really serious, but I'm the type of person, it don't take much to fuck up my day. Like, something so simple, and I know it's bad, and I know it sounds weak mind, I know it sounds horrible, but something so simple is some shit that's going on at work and some shit that I got going could easily fuck with my, like, fuck with what I got going. Like, it easily fuck, you know, but I ain't gonna let it, you know, fuck with me. Man, I'm back, I'm out of. I'm out of my um, jacket, man, because it's hot as hell in here, man. And I might sound a little different or a little louder due to the fact that I um, got my headphones in. I was listening to music. I'm walking around. This girl 1K, this girl 1K Ray, this girl 1K Ray on Instagram turned up. I don't, I don't know what her nigga did to her. I don't know what, it, what, the, what the case is. She on that bitch, bro. Got a shrimp, bro, out of pocket. So y'all go follow 1K Ray. She might do another rent tomorrow or some shit. I thought I dropped this video. <laughs>
She snapped that on, bro. But I'm just in here chilling, man. Like I told y'all, today is not the day for me to be um, doing nothing extreme. I'm not doing anything too extreme today. Everything just, today is just a chill, 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 chill day. Everything today is just chill. Um, I had some drinks. I mean, I had some drinks earlier, but it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing major. I just had a couple drinks. Not nothing too serious, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually looking for a stove steel right now. As I speak to y'all. This mall is so damn big, man. It's like, you really can't even, you know, do what you want to do in here because it's hard to find everything unless you stay here, man. But man, man, that's the end of this video. I'm pretty sure that Young Blue Instrumental probably started maybe after I just said that. I ain't no telling. Depending on the editing, man. Because, you know, I edit all my videos personally. Uh, but I'm Josh B2Lit. Y'all JB2 Cry. I am in the Linux Mall, man. And if I get into anything else spectacular today, I will be doing a vlog and I will be doing a video on it. And that's a hundred, man. But until the next video, I am gone. I was just six playing with sticks. Yeah, I ran it up now I'm lit. Yeah, now this young nigga get rich. Yeah, I used to take shit like the Grinch. Hey, shit don't matter.